Okay, hi guys. Sarubi here. Nah, Sarubi. Okay, for today I'm gonna show you guys how to ride a motorcycle for the very first time. This is especially for those who don't know how to ride a motorcycle and want to take their class 2B or maybe you're not from Singapore, you just want to learn how to ride. You can learn as well. So first things first, make sure you have your protection, your helmet, your gloves. Uh, if you're in Singapore, when you take your 2B license, you need all your elbow guard, knee guard, all that stuff. Okay. So first things first, we have the throttle on the right side, okay? We have the throttle. This is your goal stick. This is the one which moves you. And then this one is the front brake. So this is the one that stops you, basically. And then below here is the rear brake. This is the one where you use your feet to stop the behind. <laughs> okay, then on the left side, what we have is the clutch. This clutch is the one that uh, you need to press to go into first gear, second gear and to change all your other gears as well. And then there is your gear shifter. Okay, so one thing to make sure that you always do is get your, get on your bike from the left side. And why is that? Because of the exhaust pipe. Okay, if you get on the bike from your right and then you fall, you're going to be buried under your exhaust pipe and if it's if your exhaust pipe is hot you're gonna burn your leg so you don't want that to happen okay so you get on the bike from your left side okay i did not use my gloves okay hold on <laughs> okay so you're on the bike now uh if your feet firmly on the ground the stand is still there just just in case first okay what they teach at school is to kick up your stand first but for me i think that's not safe so just get on the bike first with the stand so in case if you, if it topples to the left side you still have your bike stand to steady yourself okay so we go kick up the stand and then first things first you have to on your bike obviously <laughs> just let it do this little magic all that okay so when you start your bike uh some bikes have kick starts but nowadays most of the bikes all is electric starts okay so this is where you will feel pressured, especially for the first time, right? So you don't know what to do and everything. So first things first, what I want you guys to try and do. Okay, I'm just gonna put my visor down so I, you can you can hear me more clearly. Prevent the wind and blah blah blah. Okay, first things first, what you guys, I need you guys to do is just get used to the bike stalling. Okay, stalling it does not harm the bike. It just it's an automatic feature where when you don't sense that your your gear is properly engaged it will just kill the bike so it, it's just like an off switch automatic off switch so do not worry about that okay so first things first no i say a lot of first things first <laughs> okay what you want to do is on your left side is your clutch to before you want to change your, your gear you have to engage your clutch okay you engage your clutch and on the left side your shoe right or your feet you have to push down most of the bikes is one down and then five up so the gear is one neutral two three four five and maybe six so you go down to the first gear and then make sure you have both feet planted at the side okay so you are stable and then you just let go of the clutch and that will happen your bike will automatically stall okay do not be pressurized when this happens Make sure you are, you are calm and collected and everything. Just breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, okay? Alright, so we're going to go back to neutral. Okay, we start the bike again. So, now that you you know how the, the stalling feels like, you know it's not so scary, okay? You you won't be scared to, to stall the bike. So with that confidence, what you're going to do, is use your is engage your clutch and then change to first gear with your left feet eh? change to first gear that means down and then put your feet back out just relax and put your feet back out this is not school and what you're going to do is with your throttle you're going to give it some rev do not release this first okay just give some revs make sure you can hear the bike you can hear it right 
is is like is screaming to be to be let go to go forward so what you're going to do with this going downwards a bit if you're revving the bike you're going to release your clutch slowly just slowly and then what you will hear is your rev go down back and you you find yourself moving if you release the clutch too fast and without having enough revs or enough speed the bike will stall okay i'll show you Okay, what will happen if you release too fast if you release the clutch too fast without giving it enough gas it will stall <laughs> once again it will stall so go back to neutral and start the bike again what i want you guys to do especially the first time is to get used to moving off and stopping this is what you will learn also if you are in SLDC, bbdc or cdc the the first spread is just to move off and stop so you go to gear one and then what they don't teach you is to throttle first give your throttle your throttle high a bit and then you release your clutch slowly then you start to move and you just pedal 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 <laughs> you just get used to the bike moving Okay, so once you have your pedal pedal and everything down right you release the clutch slow enough your bike is moving you want to put your feet up so once you put your feet up you will start to move and then you have to balance right now this is the part where you will freak out as well because you are moving and you don't know how to stop so let me just go back there So once you are moving and then you don't know how to balance, do not give any more gas. Do not throttle anymore. What you can do is just clutch in. Clutch in and release your gas. That means don't don't throttle anymore. And then you go slower and then you put your feet down back and you start to water, water, water back to a stop. Okay, you get used to the bike moving. So you won't feel pressurized, you won't feel as nervous. You understand the bike more okay so I, i'm going to show you guys how to properly stop okay so from first gear you just hold on to your clutch and then the bike will go slower or use your right side right use your right side and your left side of the brakes both together at the same time so let's say you start to move off you're gaining some speed you don't you do not want the speed because it's it's you know you don't want to go too fast like you want so let's say you have some speed and then you want to slow you want to stop you press your front brake and your back brake both together and you will stop oh sorry for the noise <laughs> So, so that is without so so far you have done this without releasing your clutch fully so you know how to stop now you know how to move you know, you know how to move and you know how to stop so the next thing is to fully release the clutch okay so the same steps you get both feet on the ground and then you give throttle and then release your clutch you will start to move and then fully release your clutch once it gains some speed fully release your clutch 
and then you, you don't have to hold the clutch anymore okay then you just turn turn the handlebar and then like i said how to stop is you hold down the clutch you release your throttle and then press the front and brake 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 back brake, brake then you come to a stop okay so this is just the first lesson of how to start and how to stop if you are learning you can learn on a friend's bike maybe if they give you permission make sure it's at an open space where there's no cars like this car park there's no cars make sure there's nobody around uh, but one thing try to not be at a car park because car parks let's say have this ledge and then you ram into the ledge you actually fall over and you know die so let's not try and do that if you are learning how to ride go to the, like the first floor or something or if there's walls around so most to most you just hit the wall and you know not die hopefully so yeah that is all <laughs> that is all for the first lesson uh, in the future I'll make other lessons for how to shift up to gear 2, gear 3, all this stuff okay that's all <laughs>